What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own auto GPT to use as a virtual assistant. Now, when I did this myself, it took me about two and a half hours. So my goal in this video uh, is to shortcut that timeline for you and then also remove a ton of the confusion that comes along with this because if you're anything like me, I'm not some crazy coder and instinctively knew how to do all of this. Uh, so I had to do some research, ask ChatGPT a bunch, and uh, ultimately it took me a lot longer than it should have. So in this video, we're gonna be shortcutting that for you, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, AutoGPT, they've recently made some updates. So um, this video should be super helpful for you guys with the most recent release. Uh, they've changed a couple different things and the prerequisites to do it uh, have actually changed. So I have my steps uh, outlined right here. The first thing I need to do is download AutoGPT from github.com and I can find it uh, actually right here where it says urgent. They just made a new update. So I'm going to click here. It's going to take me to this page and then I can looks like they just released one seven hours ago. Wow. Okay. So all I need to do is scroll down to assets and I just click download right here. Now it's going to download. Um, I actually already have it downloaded. So that step was kind of redundant but I'm gonna go back here. And our next step is to download Python. Now, if you're using a Mac like I am, this should already be downloaded uh, onto your computer, but we wanna make sure we have the most recent version. So I'm just gonna go here to download Python and I'll just click this button here at the top. Again, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do this, but um, whatever you do, basically all that you need to do is just click on this you know, package uh, and accept everything, you know, give it, uh, you say yes to all of the prompts, like when you're normally downloading something, and uh, then you should be good to go on the Python. Uh, now our next step is actually to get our API key from openai.com, all right? Um, so if you guys have signed up for like a chat GPT account, you should already have your own API key, um, or sorry, you're not, not your own API key, but uh, your own open AI account, all right? So if you already signed up for ChatGPT, you should already have an account. If you haven't, uh, you'll just go to platform.openai.com, openai.com, and it should uh, prompt you to create one. But basically, in order to get our API key, I'm gonna click up in the top right here where it says personal, and then view API keys. And then I'm just gonna click create new secret API key. I can name it, you know, whatever I want. I'm just gonna call it auto GPT, kind of rhymes there and I'll just click create secret key. Now, this is gonna be blurred out in the video, but as you guys can see here, the entire API key is right here. Uh, all I need to do is copy it and paste it, and I wanna make sure that I don't click done before I do that, because once I click done, I will never be able to view it again. So I need to make sure that I copy this. I'm just going to paste it into a notes doc. Click paste right there. Again, that's gonna be blurred out. And now we have it in safekeeping in our notes. Let's look at our next step, which is actually one of the things that have changed before that you didn't need this, but now you do, is you need to download Dev Container and VS Studio, okay? So you'll just click on this link. It's gonna take you here, and you're gonna wanna download Docker for your desktop on Mac. And then also download, this is the more important one, is VS Code. So you just click here and then click download. Um, I've already downloaded it again, so I'm not gonna have to do that for the video, um, but that's what you do. Just download it for Docker and then also download it for VS Studio. All right, so once you have done that, now we're gonna go back to github.com. We'll just go here and I just need to follow the remaining steps. So, um, since I've already downloaded it directly from uh, from this source here on the update, I don't need to do, I don't need to do, where do you go? This, uh, but I'm just gonna kind of walk through the steps anyway, just so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. So I'll just create a new terminal. Um, for those of you guys like me that aren't coders, terminal is basically just like where you can uh, do like coding prompts with your Mac. It's kind of like a deeper, uh, deeper level of operating your computer. Um, but I'm just gonna type in terminal in the spotlight search. So to get to that, just click this magnifying glass, uh, type in T-E-R and then terminal should pop up. Just click on it. 
and there we go. So now I have terminal opened up. Um, I can, well, since I've already downloaded it, I'm not gonna need to do this. So all I need to do is click CD auto GPT and just paste that in. Now I'm just going to copy right here where it says pip install our requirements paste it there and it will install everything as you guys can see so now i'm already in uh, auto gpt now this is the part where you need the vs studio which you guys just downloaded um, you have to rename the uh, file named the env template and you need to change it um like take away the part where it says template and then add in your open AI, open AI API key. That always trips me out. But basically, uh, once you've downloaded the VS Studio, we're just gonna type in VS and it's gonna pull it up. You wanna open VS Studio. And then if you just go here, right? Uh, in the Explorer, you should be able to pull up all the different things that are on your computer, right? And so once you, let's see, cause I'm, I wanna try to basically see how I pulled up that doc. But if you just like, if you go to this part where it looks like a copy paste, it's called the Explorer. And then you type in what file you want. You can pull up the auto GPT folder, which is the one that you guys just saw me download. And then you just pull that up inside of VS Studio. So super simple. Um, let's see if I can yeah, I'll tell you what you guys will be able to figure it out. You basically just search for your folder inside the Explorer and then you'll be able to figure it out. So we're going to look for the dot ENV. Um, I'm just going to, let's see how I can rename this. Tell you what, I'm just going to ask chat GPT cause I don't really use VS studio a lot. I'm not a coder. Studio. Locate the file, right click on the file, or select the file and press F2. Let's see. So .env, and then I just change it to that. Remove the template part. All right, now I'm gonna go back to these instructions. So we removed the template part from .env, and now we just need to fill it in with our open AI API key. So that is what we copied onto this note stock. So let me just copy that. I'm gonna go back to VS Studio. And then if you guys can see here, it should be on line 23. It says open AI API key, your open AI API key. And then I'm just going to paste it there. Uh, now, if you guys wanna use the auto GPT where you can actually like talk to it, um, that is going to be on the 11, 11 labs API key. So you basically just sign up for 11 labs and then get an API key for that. And then you can talk back and forth with it. Uh, in this example, I'm just gonna do the most simple basic version that you can do. And that is where I just pasted that key there. So it should save automatically. There we go. So I just exit it out and hit save. And now I'm gonna go here, everything looks good. I just need to copy this prompt that says Python dash M auto GPT. So we'll just paste that there. Give it a second. Come on. There we go. Perfect. So now we can just name it whatever we want. So I'll just call it, you know, we can describe the role of auto, the auto GPT. That's literally like whatever you want it to do. So let's say, for example, I want it to just press enter. And then you basically are just typing in the goals. So that's like different checkpoints to achieve its role. So I could say goal one is um, search. It's going to, it's just thinking right now, but it's about to obviously go through all of the goals that I just set. So it's gonna search Google for the best places to find dog breeds find the cutest dog breeds, then find breeders that fit that list, and then compile that into a list and shut down. Now it's asking me, um, it's gonna make me approve every single command, which is cool in the beginning, but once you kind of get the hang of this, I kind of like to just let it run, uh, which maybe that's a little sketchy, but that's just kind of what I do. 
So I think I'll start by Google command for the best dog breeders in the US. It gives you the reasoning why it's gonna do that. It's gonna start with the Google gener general Google search, which will help them gather a general idea of the set of dog breeders to explore and narrow down based on reputation, blah, 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 makes sense. And then it's gonna tell you the plan and then the criticism, uh, which is basically just like the, either the reason it won't work or something that it needs to consider going forward to make sure that the role is uh, completed. So it's gonna tell you the next action it's gonna do. It's basically Googling best dog breeders in the US. And I type Y to authorize the command or N to exit the program. Now, I also have this other option, which is Y dash N. So what you can do here is you can like automatically green light a certain amount of decisions. So I wanna say yes to let's say five decisions. Now, command authorized by users, it can do five different acts or five different you know steps without asking me. So that's one option. You can also do uh, continuous mode, which is pretty cool. That was basically here. Um, so you can basically just copy this and then paste it in there and it'll run continuously, like without me doing anything. And then you can obviously like, if this thing starts getting crazy and starts doing things you don't want it to do, especially if you're on continuous mode, you can just press, I believe it's control C and it'll stop. So this is what continuous mode looks like. Here we go. Um, I think it's, oh, it's saying that I need to add the voice settings, but basically you just do that. Uh, if you guys wanna do the 11 labs thing, it's pretty easy to find. And then you would be able to do continuous mode with speak. Uh, you might be able to do this and then just take out the speak part. Okay, I might've bugged it out. So basically if you guys wanna use continuous mode, I think you do uh, also have to have the 11 labs part, but all of that is basically what we did here, actually it might be running now. There we go. All right, and that is how you set up AutoGPT in about 15 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you got value, be sure to click the like button so that somebody else struggling with how to do this can see this video and save themselves a ton of time. If you guys want the exact step-by-step -step that I used, uh, to go through this process. I know the one on AutoGPT is a little bit more complex. Uh, there's going to be a link down below in the description where you can get those instructions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.